In this module, we'll talk about motor proteins. Motor proteins are enzymes, protein molecules that can transport cargo along microtubules. Motor proteins have two domains. They have a motor domain that is attached to a microtubule. They have a cargo domain onto which cargo, whatever material or organelle that needs to be transported is attached. The motor domain of a motor protein can recognize the surface of the microtubule and it just by looking at the surface motor protein knows in which direction the plus of microtubule lies and in which direction the minus end of a microtubule lies. As you have established the minus end of the microtubule is towards the cell center whereas the plus end is towards the cell periphery or the plasma membrane. The two types of uh, motor proteins for sake of generalization, we can say dynein motor proteins move towards the minus end of the microtubule, kinesins move towards the plus end of the microtubule. These motor proteins can not only transport cargo like vesicles, in case of flagella or cilia, both the domains of these motor proteins are attached to microtubules. So, a motor protein will have a microtubule attached to its cargo domain and the motor domain also attached to another microtubule which is adjacent. So, when this motor protein becomes activated, it uses the energy from ATP molecule which has high energy bonds. All motor proteins, most motor proteins use energy stored in ATP to move along the microtubule. When a motor protein is activated that is binding two microtubules, it tries to move. But the microtubules in case of flagella and cilia are fixed. So, it cannot move one microtubule uh, along the length of another microtubule. It basically this whole, this whole exercise results in an undulating movement and this propels the organism which has the flagella in one of the directions which is opposite to the direction of the movement of flagella. Let's look at another important aspect of cells. Cells as I've said do not exist in vacuum or in isolation. They're either neighboring other cells or they are present in a, in a material in an extracellular material which we refer to as ECM or extracellular material. ECM is also secreted by cells. For example, collagen is produced by fibroblasts. It is a type of extracellular material or ECM. Bone is another example of extracellular material. Some tissues have a lot of extracellular material. Other tissues have relatively little or no ECM. For example, brain has very little ECM. Bone on the other hand is primarily, primarily made of extracellular material. In this case, it's calcium phosphate. ECM or extracellular matrix can have several biological roles. For example, it holds the cells together. Our skin has a lot of collagen and it is holding the cells together. Also, it can extracellular material can also serve as, as a road map or as a, as a road along which cells can crawl. It, that is important during embryogenesis. Cells need to go to a specific place and they use extracellular material to crawl on and go to their destination. Not only these extracellular material play important structure role, they have a very important role in cell signaling. For example, extracellular material can tell cell to survive. If a cell is present in the liver for example, it knows and it can only grow in on its own extracellular material. This is important. For example, as we know we shed our cells all the time, we are always shedding our skin. Our internal organs can also shed, can also shed cells. If a liver cell for example dislodges and goes, through, goes in the circulation and settles elsewhere and starts growing, it will be catastrophic. For example, if this liver cell goes and starts growing in the brain or the heart, it will be very catastrophic. So, cells need to be confined to their own environment. 
a liver cell cannot go and start multiplying and dividing and living in brain uh, extracellular uh, matrix or extracellular material because the extracellular matrix of liver is the only place that it can it gets the signal to live any place else if it goes it will not be able to survive so in this series of modules we have looked at the different organelles of the cell and we have looked at their functioning and also we are ending it on the function of extracellular matrix.